like put my hand there and I'm still gonna hit him. Go ahead, boom, and there it is. Now if I just so much. Okay, so we're gonna talk about hitting somebody with a hook while they're loading up their own hook or even while they're firing their own hook. And I talk about first why it might work well. So just something to take note of. Get yourself into stance and let's drop your hands like I'd say you never should. Okay, so we've got, you know, classic kickboxing terminology is if you hit somebody on the side that their leg is back, call that open side. If we hit them on the side of their lead, we call that close side. And maybe we can see why um, this looks more open. And for the sake of making my point, <laughs> this side is more closed off to me. Okay, we'll go back. So when we hit somebody in the chin on this side, because of the way their stance is, they can really roll with it. And we've seen Canelo do some insane neck twists where the guy like looked like he hit clean, but there was just no sound, no impact. And it's just because he could turn his neck that much while he's getting hit. That is not available to you on this side because it's so close to your shoulder. Yeah? Um, when I learned some, some reasons for the mechanism of knockout, um, I learned that rapid acceleration your chin is sitting still, then suddenly it's not, right? And then it hits the end range of motion and that's rapid deceleration. And then it hits this, then your neck gets fully torqued torsion. So those three things are gonna cause knockout. Rapid acceleration, rapid deceleration, and torsion on the neck. When you hit someone open side, it's a lot easier to get to that rapid deceleration and torsion on the neck. I hope I made sense. That's pretty nerdy stuff, okay? So, Another thing that might happen to make that even better is if your opponent makes the error of loading up on a lead hook, but not having this hand high enough. Now, rapid acceleration is gonna be extra rapid because I can like put my hand there and I'm still gonna hit them. Go ahead, boom, and there it is. Now, if I just so much as move my hand in the direction of the chin that's moving towards my hand, I'm gonna catch them really hard, open side. We're gonna get all the best of all those points we talked about. So he loads up to catch me. Now, if I load up too, I'm probably gonna miss my opportunity. You have to have really good eyes or maybe have seen them doing this already and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for that moment. And I'm just gonna throw boom, an unloaded hook where I just snap it off. Me throwing a really heavy punch in that instant doesn't matter as much because they're powering it by moving into me and I'm getting all the benefits of hitting them open side with that rapid acceleration, all that stuff, okay? So if I see someone loading up and I'm like, hmm, he does that again, bang! You just catch them just as they're firing in. We'll do it slow mo bing. You keep your hand up, they don't. There's an old boxing term, uh, they say hook with the hooker and uh, the one with their hand up will win that exchange. You hit them open side with a low hand while they're throwing their own hook. That's uh, part of the reason why it'll work is they're moving right into the box.